everyone welcome back if you're brand new here please make sure you hit that subscribe button give the video a thumbs up as well and feel free to share it if you know someone who loves coming to Coz and Greece so in the distance there you can see little Greek islands there's a few more dotted just over there and then of course you come to uh, Turkey and you can see the whole of Coz from here In this video, we're going to take a big island tour. We're going to take a trip to the natural hot springs, finding a little church on an island that you can only swim to, briefly going to Kefalos and checking out the beach in Tingati and one amazing Turkish spa. So our first trip of the day, just off the road here, we're heading down to the Therma Spa, which is a natural spring here in Koz. And the waters bear healing properties. They're rich apparently in potassium, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, and sodium elements considered instrumental in cures for skin, arthritic, or, or rheumatic diseases. The temperatures of the waters hover between 30 and 50 degrees Celsius. So uh, there's the sign, just make sure you're going in the right direction. You can bring a hire car down here, but to be honest, um, with all the rocks and my hire car, which is like a Fiat Punto, I wouldn't want to risk it, to be honest. You can come down here on a quad much easier. But uh, yeah, I mean, like the walk down here is pretty tiring, but what a view though, absolutely gorgeous up here. checking out these goats up here I mean these are amazing climbers how they get up there and I've seen them get even higher too absolutely crazy they're happy though so this is one parking spot if you did want to park here but to be honest I wouldn't want to leave my hire car here with some of these rocks that could fall on your hire car Probably a good idea to have some good walking shoes as well, rather than uh, flip-flops. We're getting close because I can smell the sulphur. It's one thing you'll really notice, the smell is horrible. Wow, just look at these rocks. Now this is normally very busy down here as well, so we'll have to see how busy it is today. So I mean there is a little bit of a beach down here which you can enjoy and a, and a bar before you actually get to the place where the uh, hot spring is. Well signposted. That tree up there, look, how it's just perched. Surely that's gonna fall down one day. So if you wanna know where it actually is, you come down to this part of the beach and there's a little area of rocks where you can see a group gathering of people. I wonder who used to live there. Be out of the way. So this is it. This is the spa and the water is very hot. And I'll show you just how hot it is. And it really does stink of sulfur down here too. And actually the hottest part, which I've been to before, is here. See it bubbling? Wow. 
or I think it might be there, the hottest part. It's amazing to think that's coming from the ground. If only you could smell this, it absolutely stinks. And as you can see, most people are actually sticking to the outer edges because it's just far too hot in the middle and right by the rocks. So I'm gonna go in. I know this is gonna be hot. How hot, oh my God. Yow. That is like burning my feet. I can't, I can't do it. That is so hot. It's apparently good for your skin. And I just noticed all these um, pebbles that people have written on their memories of being here most of them are actually this year 2018 that one I tell you what though, walking back up this hill is a killer, but great, view <laughs> but great views, so I guess that's something. show you this view just coming around this corner and you get to see something so beautiful I'm literally just up the road from Kefalos and look at that that tiny little island over there with the church on it how cute is that some more ancient ruins you'll see these everywhere in Greece all got history to them plinths just lying around look look there's still one standing over here with an amazing backdrop so now I've come to Kephalos and uh, Kephalos Beach and I wanted to show you it really um, it's not my favourite beach to be fair, it's quite pebbly, it's quite stony, there's a few like tavernas here but um, yeah a very nice quiet place if you want to come and get away from it all really, as you can see down there littered with tavernas. So this is Tingati Beach and it's got some really beautiful beaches. Let's go and check them out. way to get around cars in a beach buggy 
So I've decided to come to this part of the beach in Tingati, which is called Banana Beach. It's actually got free Wi-Fi, apparently. There you go, it tells you the sea temperature, the temperature, and the fact there's free Wi-Fi. So let's go and have a look. It might be a little bit windy down here, and I haven't got my microphone on me, so uh, just excuse the wind. Just look how beautiful this is. Not many places you get on the beach with free Wi-Fi, so it's worth coming down. Nice shower there to cool yourself off if you don't like that sea salt on you. And let's go and check out the water. I'm keeping my flip-flops on because the sand is hot. These sunbeds are so pricey on the beach. However, there is a plus to this beach. I know there is a guy who comes around and gives foot massages for about five euros. Whether or not he's doing that because of coronavirus, I'm not sure. I'm making sure no one's topless. And of course there's loads of water sports you can do here as well. I've been on one of those before, they're so much fun. So Tingati Beach is there and I just wanted to show you something very special down this road. Just wanted to show you this place, definitely recommend it if you fancy a massage, a Turkish bath, it is really beautiful. I think it's pronounced Hammam, something like that. This is it. So you see on these big clints and you get the foam all rubbed into you. I have a little waterfall here as well which um, changes colours and does a different show at night. There's a few gift shops as well. And the spa is just in here. We'll have a brief look inside. Let's just have a sit down outside under this lovely tree. You can get your hair done as well, right? show you what one of these Turkish spas is like. You get all the soap suds in there and it gets rubbed all over your body. This is very hot in here. And they basically lay you on the sides and they rub it all in. It's very nice. So this must be the weirdest flower pot in the world.
That is so random. Definitely a recommendation if you're in Cos Town to come to uh, this particular bar. Let's go and check it out. Yes, yeah, just by the water. Very nice. Okay, so I'm in a traditional Greek taverna, literally right on the beach. And it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, and you just can't beat the sound of crickets when you're in Greece. Just listen to that. Absolutely love it. I could go to sleep to that. Thank you so much for watching the video. Do give it a thumbs up, give it a share as well, and make sure you hit that subscribe button to see even more of COS next week as well. And of course, if you're watching this later on, you can see it in the top right-hand corner.